Hello, my friend. My name is Nico. I'm the founder of Newer Frames. You're a new user, so I thought I would take the chance to present to you the video editor so you, you, you have the opportunity to learn a bit how this thing works. You can just skip this video and, and play around with it yourself. That's totally fine. But in, in case you're interested and want to understand how this works, then uh, I will show it to you here. In a sense, it's a normal video editor. On the top le left side, you have a box full of settings. On the bottom, you have a timeline. And on the top right, you, you can see the current frame. Uh, there's also the con video control buttons, yeah, uh, play, fast forward, rewind, stuff like that. We can not press them at the moment because we don't have any frames rendered, but uh, later on we can. On the timeline, but in a sense, it's also not a normal video editor because um, the timeline does not show video clips that we put in there that already exist. The timeline shows video clips that we are about to render. So we are going to produce the clips that are, that are here, okay? So in this case, there's a certain prompt with a certain duration, 3.6 seconds. We can change the duration. We can also add another box here. We can add another prompt, um, move it to a different location. We can also delete it again. Um, Let's stick with one box for now, and, and then we, we come to two boxes later. Um, here the prompt in this case is SKS person psychedelic hippie poetry digital art. Uh, so this is a custom model. If you're a subscriber, you can train your custom model on some objects or on some person that you like. And in this case, I trained a model on me. What else should I do? And, and if, you, if you have a custom model, the way you tell the model that you actually want to show this object that you trained on, is um, you say SKS person or SKS object. This is just the way it is. In your case, if you have not a custom model, you can just write everything, anything you want. You could write here Barack Obama and then it would also know Barack Obama, but of course, probably unless you're very famous, it wouldn't know yourself. Okay, so we have this prompt. We can select between different styles, one for the flicker, because if you, if you see these type of videos, they have a certain type of flicker. We can have a lot of flicker or very smooth flicker, and we can have a certain type of movement of the camera. And there's also a manual mode here where we can uh, select these settings um, individually. And actually the manual mode, to be honest, is a bit more fun. Once you get a bit accustomed to the, to the video editor, I recommend you go to the manual model. A manual mode but but the automatic mode can be a good start for instance in this case let's say we don't want any movement we want balanced flicker we render a little bit okay i think we rendered enough in the video editor we can click on any time on the button and interrupt then it will stop rendering um, it will still continue for a couple of frames depending on where it is in the loop exactly but but then it will stop we can we can look at the video that we rendered so far okay no movement a little bit of flicker we can see some evolution of this video cool um, now we can change these styles and i encourage you to play around with this a little bit um, where it becomes interesting is when we add a second box for instance let us say let us say sks person um, laughing funny something like that and this is now for the for the second box yeah the first box has still the first prompt and um, what neural frames has very uniquely is is this prompt fade so we we have an interpolation between these two boxes um, in all dimensions so the prompts get interpolated the movement gets interpolated all the parameters that you see here will inter be interpolated between these two boxes so you c this allows very smooth transitions from one prompt to the other you and you can determine the the length of this transition by yeah by by um, placing the placing the option placing the box here um, so let's say now we want to go to manual mode and i will explain the manual mode now um, all the settings they might they might seem confusing at first, but actually it's it's okay. Um, you you will get hold of them. It's not, actually not so many. I try to take away most of the settings from you, but there's a couple that you kind of need to know. So there's the strength, which is a very important parameter, um, and also maybe the most complicated one. Um, the the way this video generation works is. Um, each frame, each, each subsequent frame is fed into the neural network and the neural network generates a new frame out of it. The strength is a magnitude for how much the new frame will be new. Okay, so if you have a very low strength, if you have a strength of zero, then the next frame will just be like the, the first one, just a bit worse actually, in, in fact. And um, if you have a high strength, it will be completely a new image. 
Okay, so that means if you have a low, relatively low strength, the, the videos will be somewhat smooth, the, the evolution will be somewhat smooth, but also, and as a drawback, the images will deteriorate a little, deteriorate a little bit over time. So the images, you, you will see get them get them worse over time slightly with low strength. If you have a high strength, in contrast, yeah, the images will be very flickery. You will see a lot of move, uh, fluctuation in the images, but they stay of relatively high um, quality. So what I encourage people to do is to to move to play with this value a little bit in the over the course of the video. Sometimes high strength, sometimes low strength, just a little bit to to like let it heal them itself. Then there's the smooth. Smooth is how much the frames get interpolated over time. Um, if you have a low strength, uh, if you have a low smooth, just one frame will come after the other. If you have a high smooth, there will be interpolation frames between these frames and then the evolution will be smooth between them. Okay, and then there's spatial dimensions here for the camera movement, which are somewhat self-explanatory, I think. So there's zoom, how much you want the camera to zoom in, and then there's rotation in, in all three dimensions, how much you want the camera to, to rotate. For instance, we could say we want to start now with a zoom of one. And for the second prompt, you remember, we have the SKS person laughing, funny, psychedelic hippie. We have the zoom at zero, but we could say we want a rotation. Okay, and um, good. That's it. I press on render and we see you on the other side. Okay, and I'm going to interrupt the process here because I don't like so much what I'm seeing. Let's play the whole thing. So far it's cool, we're slightly zooming in. Now we have the prompt fade the, and it starts rotating and the person starts laughing. So far so good, but actually I don't like the rotation. Okay, so what about we, we take away this rotation and now we go again to a zoom zero, but instead we improve, uh, increase the strength, for instance. And now what's very imp one last very important workflow of this video editor that you should understand is you can move around the cursor here and uh, you have these boxes. But actually, the, the images are already rendered, okay? So uh, if, you, if you change this box, if you change the length of this box, for instance, it will not affect the images that you already rendered. It will only affect the images once you start rendering again from this position. So you can go back in time and render from there. Then, then that's why it says render from cursor, okay? We render from here and all the images that are after behind this cursor will be deleted and newly rendered. And this is exactly what I want because I don't, I didn't like the rotation. So I go back in time before this box actually appeared. I render from here and then uh, we will have the new settings on the box uh, rendered again. Okay, perfect. So of course we could also, uh, so maybe I can show we have this video now. Actually, this person starts laughing. It does look a bit like a laugh of myself. We could, of course, now um, add new boxes here, have me, t have me uh, um, show my tongue. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't want to do this. Uh, <laughs> have me show my tongue, a spell of a finger, whatever. You can also change the duration of the clips here. Yeah, you can make it longer. It's, it's still a bit um, of a beta feature at the moment, but you can uh, re uh, increase the length up to three, uh, five minutes, actually. So play with it, have fun with it, and um, I wish you happy rendering.